Hey guys, Jeff Finley here with GoMedia. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our new tutorial that we just put out called The Making of Andrew Jackson. And uh, we got such a good response from our first tutorial, Beauty as a Black Hole, about Wacom, uh, Wacom Tablet Illustration, and uh, that we just had to put out another tutorial. So I spent the past few days putting this together for you. It's a, it's a 2.3 hour real-time walkthrough of the design process of how I go about creating the artwork for my band Parachute Journalist's new single, Andrew Jackson. And uh, it's it's a ridiculous amount of information that I put into it and I show you in like kind of a very voyeuristic, real-time like process. You kind of can see all of the little shortcuts and work workarounds that I do and all of my habitualized hab habitualized techniques and tricks that I you know apply in Photoshop and Illustrator that have taken me years to develop. The things that I don't even think about that other people find fascinating. Um, and you also see a lot of my flaws and problems and, and how I handle design problems and design or in software problems, you know, when the software doesn't quite work the way I want it to. And I'm sure you guys have all been there and you can kind of see how I handle those things, work around them and come up with a cool creative solution to get past it. And um, one of the cool things about these tutorials is um, I don't know what I'm creating when I started. Um, I have a sketch and you'll see that we're going through the design process together. So it's like I'm making decisions, you're kind of hearing me think out loud as the ideas come to me and um, and then you can see I execute them right in front right in front of your eyes. So it's kind of cool. It's like watching over my shoulder as I design without the creepiness. <laughs> so um, this tutorial is great. You're going to you're going to learn you're going to learn a lot. I mean, I guarantee you that you're going to be inspired and I guarantee you that you're going to at least learn something that you can take and apply to your next project. Um, whether, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything similar to what I'm creating here, um, but you can at least learn some of how I, how I handle my design principles and typography principles and all that. So, but specifically, you know, you can kind of look on the web page and what you're going to learn, but, you know, the three main things that you're going to learn are how to create, like, rich, classy typography, like a type treatment in Illustrator, um, you know, using, using fonts and pairing them together and use, and kind of tricking the, type text warp tool to kind of get the effects that you want because um, there's some some hacks that go along with that that I can show you how to do and then uh, portrait illustration in, in in Photoshop I kind of covered this a little bit in the first tutorial beauty is a black hole but this this one covers it a little bit um, how it applies not because the whole the feature of this tutorial is not illustration um, it's mostly about um, assembling like photography and a little bit of line art and typography all in one piece um, to kind of cr create a graphic graphic design, you know, just of a of the single artwork for this for the song. So there's not like it's a heavy focus on illustration like the last one was where I drew a lot of detail. This one kind of covers it and how covers it in a simplified form and how to you know creatively apply it to the the design as a whole. And then finally, all of the cool vintage techniques that I've learned over the years, the distressing, the aging, you know. Ever since I've been doing design, I've we've always had this desire to stop making things look so digital. Um, as soon as you get into Photoshop, and as soon as you get into Illustrator, everything looks so crisp and and, and perfect. And um, I think that was one of the attractions with um, grunge back in the day when it got started. But you know, like five or six or seven years ago when it was getting really popular. But um, you know, nowadays uh, the the distressing, the aging, and the vintage techniques, and the retro stuff, that's all really popular, but I mean, at its core, um, the goal is to kind of, is to create the most authentic looking piece possible. Um, and something that, that really resonates with me, of course, is the nostalgic, uh, the nostalgic vibe that a piece has, the, the memories it triggers, and the, uh, the overall emotion that a piece has. And, um, and sometimes that doesn't always come through with the super clean, uh, Photoshop looking looking artwork out there. So you're going to see how I take all of those uh, vintage and aging techniques and tricks that I've learned over the years and apply it into this design in a tasteful manner. I mean, we're not just throwing uh, vintage tricks out there because that's what's fun to do and that's, you know, that's what's hot right now. Um, but you'll see. I talk about it in the tutorial and give it a little bit more detail. But um, anyway, so I hope you like this tutorial. I, I'm sure you're going to learn a lot and if you have any questions before you buy it, just send an email to jeff at gomedia.us and, um, and, and then let me know uh, if, how you think about it. If you watch it, let me know if you got any feedback for me for my next tutorial. And, uh, and if you do happen to create something cool for it, uh, 
after you've been inspired by this tutorial, then definitely post it on our Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash arsenal.gomedia.us. Uh, facebook.com slash arsenal.gomedia.us. So that, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.